Hi everybody, welcome to Cyberpunk 2077 and hopefully a new series of videos about modding the PC version of this amazing game. Hey, maybe even modding the console version eventually when we get that ability. Um, wow, look at this point of view we're in and in fact if I look down... There's my feetsies. So this is the um, free fly, uh, no clip mod, uh, Nexus mod, which is absolutely fantastic, which, which gives you the ability to fly around the map um, and sort of plonk yourself down should you wish on sometimes, um, oh, did we do that? Uh, inaccessible areas. Oh, there we go. Maybe we should, uh, like this one. Um, and you can explore the map, you can take some amazing screenshots, um, you can, as I say, go to places that you couldn't previously go to and just generally make cinematics and all sorts of stuff. Um, simply by hitting the key binding, you can then fly off. Um, now, before we go into how to install it, I just want to talk a little bit more about how to use it. So your general controls are WASD uh, for sort of moving around. If you want to go up... You can point yourself up, go down, you can point yourself down, go backwards, or space bar takes you up, and um, uh, left shift uh, takes you down. But a couple of other th interesting things as well is, as you can see, the world is is operating as, as I'm flying around. So you're getting all the sounds, and you're getting the vehicles and the people. If we go down low, you'll start to get the people wandering around as well. There we go. There's the people. So, you know, the game is operating as as it should. Um, and the way that you can get it to do that is you bring up... Um, you bring up the controls. So there's free fly. And you go into the advanced settings and you keep constant TP ticked. And that means that time carries on running um, in the game. Now, if you have it unticked, what happens is the game freezes. In fact, let's untick that. So what happens now is, because I've unticked it, you'll see everybody is frozen, like so. Let's just go back up again. So let's go back into it, and let's put constant TP. There we go. And everything should be start to move again now. Let's have a look. Fire up again. Let's come out and go back in. Yeah, okay, so I've got got that ticked. Delete. I'll tell you what we probably need to do. Just go down. Let's just turn it off. There we go. So everybody started moving, I can press the key binding again, and then the world is, is moving again. So that's a nice little thing to know there as well. Okay, so as you can see, absolutely amazing. I'm sure you're getting plenty of ideas now about different areas you could explore, screenshots you could make, cinematics you could make, all that sort of stuff. So let's look at how you install this amazing game. So that amazing mod. So let's come over here, let's quit this. Are you sure? Yep. Now, like most things to do with um, PC games that don't have Steam Workshop support for modding, if you're familiar, for example, with DayZ, DayZ has Steam Workshop support built in so that you get your mods through that. Um, Cyberpunk 2077 and lots of other games don't. And Nexus Mods is a very popular place that has mods um, for this stuff. So first thing you want to do is go over to Nexus Mods. Now I will put uh, links to all these in the description below the video. So create yourself an account and then you want to um, have a search for the Free Fly No Clip Mod. Because that's the one we're using. Um, and when you go down, you just have a look around. And look in the description and you should always check the requirements what we're going to see that actually this mod, for in, in order for it to work, we need to install another mod first called Cyber Engine Tweaks. So if you um, right-click, open that in the new tab, and then go over to the Cyber Engine Tweaks mod, we've got to put that into our game first. So what you want to do is you want to go to the manual download, download the file, extract it, and you'll get a, a folder um, that's called bin, B-I-N. Now, again, I'll put a link in the description 
below the video to the installation instructions. Um, but basically what we're going to do is you're going to take that bin folder and you're going to copy it inside your Cyberpunk 2077 um, folder on your PC. Now that might be in different places depending on whether you've got the Steam version or the GOG version of Cyberpunk. So if you've got the Steam version, it will probably be on your PC somewhere like local to see program files uh, x86 Steam and then Steam apps and then common and then you'll see um, Cyberpunk 2077 there. Um, if you've got the GOG version, the good old games version, it'll probably be inside somewhere that says GOG games and you have Cyberpunk 2077. And all you do is you take that folder that you've downloaded and extract it and just copy it into this folder. Now, fire up the game again. Um, make sure it's running in uh, full Windows mode. And then the first time you run it, it will ask you for a key binding to start uh, this mod. Now, I chose delete because I don't think cyberpunk uses delete for anything so i chose delete once that happens you know it's working shut down the game and then we can go back to the free fly mod here um, and then all you've got to do is just go to go to the file section and do the manual download now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go back to the cyberpunk 2077 folder now if we go inside this bin folder and then go in here x64 then go into plugins go into cyber engine tweaks and then go into mods you've then got free fly so when you download the free fly uh, mod and you extract it you'll get the free fly uh, folder with with all the stuff into it and that is exactly where you have to copy it to so when it's in your download extract it right click copy go to your um, cyberpunk 2077 uh, folder Go into the bin folder, go into x64, plug in cyber engine tweaks, mods, right click paste, and free fly will then appear there. Then it's a simple case of firing up the game again. Um, and then I think it asks you for a key binding. I choose insert to turn the mod on or off. Um, and then pretty much you're pretty much ready to go at that particular point. And so what you do is when you're in the game, when you want to turn free fly on so that you can fly around the map, um, you hit insert and you fly around. And then when you want to stop flying around, press insert and you, you'll stop flying around. If you want to configure the mod, you know, change the settings like I showed you, changing the, the way that um, whether time passes or not, you hit in this case delete, and that will bring up like the console command, and you'll see the free fly little free fly little window that you can then go into into the advanced settings and change that. And it's incre I mean, it's incredibly easy, isn't it? Now, obviously, at some point there will be updates to Cyberpunk 2077. We go to 1.6 or 1.5, 1.6, and you will have to update these mods. Um, um, and I'm pretty sure we have to do this manually. There may well be a system you can do it automatically. Um, I think they mentioned it in Cyber Engine Tweaks. They say that you can use Vortex, I think, to control it. Um, but they don't actually recommend that. They say you should do it manually. But anyway, when that happens, I will do another video explaining how to do it. It will basically, I think, be a case of just downloading the new file and pasting it over the top of the existing one. But there we go. Looking forward to doing lots more cyberpunk 2077 modding um videos now if you're in, watching this thinking well what about the daisy ones don't worry i'll be carrying on doing the daisy ones as well um, but i thought this was very interesting very um cool um and very easy so if you've got any questions or comments about modding especially cyberpunk 2077 put them in the uh, comment section below the video and i'll use that as some um, ideas for more videos thank you very much and i will see you again soon